Today on our 2011 Subaru Forester, we'll be taking a look at and installing the Kirk Class 2 inch and a quarter trailer hitch receiver, part number C12047. The Kirk Class 2 trailer hitch receiver is perfect for light duty towing or carrying accessories such as cargo carriers or bike racks. Please note when carrying a non-trailer load, it's recommended that you use the Kurt stabilization strap, and you can find that right here at eTrailer.com. It has a gross trailer weight rating of 3,500 pounds and a tongue weight rating of 350 pounds. That's going to be the weight pushed down on the bottom of the hitch here. It does include a hitch pin and clip for your half-inch pinhole. We have a steel plate welded on safety chain loop here at the bottom. The holes here are going to be large enough to fit a wide variety of safety chains. Now we'll give you a few measurements just to help you when selecting accessories for your hitch, such as ball mounts, bike racks, or cargo carriers. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outer edge of the bumper is about three and three quarters of an inch. From the top of the inside edge of the receiver tube to the ground is about 14 and a half inches. To begin our install, we're going to get our car ready for our hitch. Now, per our instructions, it just tells us to lower our exhaust, but I found it easier just to remove the mufflers on either side and take them off completely. So we'll just take our 14 millimeter socket and our 14 millimeter wrench and take it out just like that. Now we can remove our exhaust hanger here. Just gonna hit with some spray lubricant. Gonna make it easier to get off. Then we'll drop down our second one there. Now we can just repeat the same process on the other side. Now we can remove our rubber plug. Let's take some pliers and pop it loose. Now, as you can see, our hardware will not fit. We need to widen that hole. So we're just gonna be using a step bit. If you don't have one, you can just use a file. Now keep in mind, we just need to make the hole big enough that we can fit our hardware through. Perfect, we'll do the exact same thing for the plug on the opposite side. Now we also need to remove our bolt here that's holding a portion of our heat shield because it's in the way of our hitch. So we'll just take a 10 millimeter and take that out. Repeat the same process for the other side. Now let's go ahead and remove the plug here. The last modification we need to make is make the hole bigger so this portion of our bolt can come down through. So same as last time, we'll just take our step bit. And I think that did it. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and repeat the same process for the other side. Now we can get ready to install our hardware. So we can grab our fish wire and we'll start by feeding this end here through the smaller hole and we're gonna come out the larger hole. There we are. Then we'll take our block, fit that over, and we'll take our carriage bolt and thread that on. Then what we're gonna do is feed that block up through first, followed by our carriage bolt, then guide that all the way over here, and then bring it down like that. Then we can take off that fish wire. Then we'll do the reverse pull through method. What we'll do is we'll take our fish wire, put the block on first, and then thread on our carriage bolt. Then this time, we'll put the carriage bolt through first, then the block, and then we'll pull it down like so. Just like that. Then we can repeat the same process on the other side. Now we can raise our hitch up in position. It's not a bad idea to get an extra set of hands. Just want to be careful not to push the bolts back up into the frame. Then we'll take our flange nut and just thread that on. Once we've got one in place, we can rest the hitch down on it. Now we can go ahead and snug down our carriage bolts. We're just gonna use a 19 millimeter socket. Now we can go ahead and torque it down to manufacturer specifications. These are found in the instructions. Mm. 
Last thing we can do is reinstall our exhaust the same way it came out. And that's going to complete our look and install of the Kurt Class 2 inch and a quarter trailer hitch receiver. Part number C12047 on our 2011 Subaru Forester. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.